A liberal advocacy group is alleging voter suppression by statewide Republican and Tea Party members after they'd obtained a recording of one of their members detailing ideas to challenge voter rolls. One of the things we're going to do is, is uh, take these uh, addresses that people give and we want to send out a postcard that says, you need to call and confirm this. And if you haven't called, well, then it could get tossed out. One Wisconsin now has filed complaints with the Government Accountability Board, U.S. Attorney's Office, and Attorney General's Office, saying the conservative groups were organizing to try to throw minority and student voters off the rolls by sending mailings to confirm addresses and then challenging any of those addresses that came back undeliverable. The group won't say how they got the recording, and the man on the tape says they are drawing the wrong conclusions. We believe certain statements made at the Tea Party me meeting clearly outline a plan by these organizations to engage in what may be potentially illegal conduct. My group has had no involvement with it other than like the, the, the initial meetings to hear about this, to get advice on it, to be told uh, how do we do this, and nothing. Nothing has come of it. Tim Dake with the Grandsons of Liberty says their attorneys advised them the postcard idea was not allowed, but says no organization that he knows of is pursuing any of the ideas discussed. The state Republican Party says they don't have any ongoing efforts involving the Tea Party groups, but do hope to do some routine Election Day poll watching to ensure clean elections.